When it comes to broiler chicken farming, there are several best practices that can help ensure the health, welfare, and productivity of birds. Now, here are some key considerations, okay? Now, if you're new to Farm Africa, you're welcome. Here we talk about everything farming, broiler birds for meat consumption. These guys are like the 35, 36, they are already at the 1.6, 1.7 kilograms, which is just absolutely amazing. But when you take a very keen look at them, you will observe some discrepancies uh, according to concerning their growth. Uh, a few of them are a bit smaller. That is because we fail to achieve a uniformity. That uniformity is as a result of so many aspects which we are going to be talking about in this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and then subscribe. Share this video with other friends to other social platforms. You are helping our channel to grow, guys, while we bring you relevant contents like these to apply them to your own farming experience and then grow your business rapidly. Let's talk about uh, best practice. Number one, housing and space, okay? Again, this is very important, housing and space. Provide adequate housing facilities that protect the birds from extreme weather conditions and predators. Okay, guys, now the space allocation should adhere to recommended industrial standards, allowing a sufficient room for the birds to move, stretch their wings, and then exhibit natural behaviors. Now, when you look at this bird just now, I can tell you that they are flexible enough to move, spread their wings, and then to exhibit human behavior. Uh, most of the times I just come and then stand and look at them when the place is airy during the evenings. When we have this breeze, you will see them running, flying, and then just exhibiting those uh, natural uh, behaviors and it really gladdens my heart to see them behave that way that is as a result of proper housing and space okay we have these guys on top these guys are no less than 2.53 kilos to 3.5 kilos for special order okay and then by my right hand here we also have another batch of like 1400 birds these guys are 23, 24 days old already and you can see them. They are looking awesome and they are doing amazingly well. Okay, guys, let's talk about a best practice number two, ventilation. Okay, now you want to maintain proper ventilation within the poultry house to ensure good air quality. Now, temperature control and moisture management, proper ventilation helps prevent respiratory issues and then reduces the risk of disease transmission. If you fail to provide proper ventilation, uh, they are bet are going to uh, contact these respiratory diseases very easily because the air may come in and then has no uh, out outlet and in so doing it means that your birds are going to be prone to respiratory issues looking at them just now you can see the window by my right here it is widely open for ventilation purposes okay and then you see the guys up as well before we had these uh, upstairs this banda by the side but then it was too much closer to the roof and these birds were very hot but this time around we brought it uh, at the center of the pen because we have a v-shaped roof now they are just looking fine all of that is to uh, maintain proper and adequate ventilation okay let me just take you around why you we continue to go through the various uh, key practices you can see how they are looking but if you look at them keenly you can see that they are a little chipped up right there so we are going to be adding up their space that is one thing which is just awesome now under and beneath this upstairs we have 400 birds which we are currently hitting okay we use this space under to heat our bed natural heating we don't spend on firewood we don't spend on heating bulbs and so on and so forth guys because the plastic by the side and the tarpaulin 
provide us with adequate heat enough sufficient to heat our beds up okay from day old right up to day 21 guys and you can see these guys doing extremely well they are doing awesome guys look at them guys now let me take you on top let me take you on top of there the, the banda like we call it in our local language so that you can see there the other birds these are special other special commands because during this festive moment a lot of farmers they keep uh they 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 they, they take they keep some few number of birds to this uh to this weight so that they can sell them a bit more exp expensive yeah higher and then some other buyers come with their own command please you're gonna keep me birds for like three kilo 3.5 kilos you arrange on the price and then you keep the birds for them till when they get to that kilogram so these are special others and they have started removing them as we speak guys as we speak they have started removing these birds and buying them already i'm gonna show you how they look like by now guys so you can see how these guys are looking when you see them marked just now it means they are ready to go for marketing they are ready to be consumed to be taken out you can see how big they are looking i weigh one guys it is very heavy they are very very heavy guys look at them sitting out and waiting for their vehicle to come guys so these guys were special command just like i told you guys so you want to do the same thing especially during festive moment if you have space in your farm then remove like 100 or 200 birds that you can keep to like three Point five kilograms you are going to really be selling them much more higher much more expensive guys but only if you have the feed to continue feeding them right so we are doing just awesome this is the first time we have this huge number of birds at the same time in the farm guys but you don't want to try these you don't want to house more than one batch on the one roof if you don't have the expertise if you don't have the expertise to handle the disease controls the managerial practices and other aspect guys don't try this because i tried this uh i think a few months back i lost like 1000 birds when the farm was attacked guys so you want to start with only one batch at the same time uh, until maturity until marketing before you take another batch for but for us we know how to go along with the disease control biosecurity measures and then the managerial practices to achieve the success on different badges housing different badges at the same roof we are fully utilizing the whole space right now at our farm which is just absolutely awesome the reason for these huge flocks also is because it is festive period and during this festive period of course there is gonna be scarcity right out there between christmas and then new year there's going to be scarcity so we choose to want to win the customers to let to to have them coming back for us guys <laughs> so let's talk about lighting implement appropriate lighting systems to promote normal growth and development of the birds okay now a consistent lighting shadow helps regulate their activity level and can influence their feeding behavior did you hear that a consistent lighting shadow helps regulate their activity levels now during dark guys these birds don't feed they can't do anything they just sleep so if you come from a place where you have a constant uh, lighting failure you can see also the drinking system we have there it on the floor you can see how that it's looking because it is not high enough for them so as they grow in age what we do is we lift their drinkers up by this time we are still operating at a manual system but we are working on automated system versus this one which is up 
you see them they have to stretch their neck to drink which also promotes some growth okay studies have shown that it promotes some growth when they have to stretch to drink stretch to feed okay it also helps them uh, uh, their metabolism systems to their, their immune systems to get stronger because they are stretching a lot guys so you want to make sure that you have that right for the lighting guys i'm gonna come back to talk about the drinkers the feeders and stuff like that let's talk about biosecurity now develop and enforce strict biosecurity protocols to prevent the introduction and spread of diseases these include measures such as controlling visitor access, disinfecting equipment and vehicles, and practicing good hygiene practices, okay? Now, you can see what we have done just now. We have added their space, okay? See what is going on just now. If you are not keen enough, some beds can die. This is accident. Accidents do happen. So that is why you want to be around, guys. You want to be present, guys. These guys need you around for a regular check up on them okay so we have added the room we have expanded them so that they should have free space enough to flex around and then to breathe freely guys it is what it is you can see how they are seated and they are doing just fine as they grow older the place becomes smaller and then we have to expand okay guys so let's talk about feed and water okay provide high quality nutritionally balanced feed that meets the specific nutrient requirements for broiler chickens at each stage of growth at each stage of growth okay taking me to that we have three different classes of feed even four okay we have a pre-starter we have a starter we have the grower and then we have the finisher okay you want to check uh, my videos i have a, a detailed video that explains about feeding and how you can even formulate your own feed okay guys so at each stage of their growth they have specific feed okay now you want to make sure you ensure a constant supply of clean fresh water to keep the bread hydrated and facilitate proper digestion okay which is just absolutely very important let's talk about health monitoring regularly monitor the health of the birds and properly address any signs of illness or diseases now work closely with a veterinarian to develop a comprehensive vaccination program and implement appropriate disease prevention measures guys so these guys have very adequate spacing facility right here you can see them their space is just enough for them to uh, 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 adhere to the best practices that talked about uh stocking density guys that takes me to the stocking density point which is point number seven best practice number seven if you have been following so far you can see the guys up they are looking good guys i will tell you guys that these guys drink water oh my god they drink a lot of water so we are considering switching from manual to the automated uh, drinking system uh, so that uh, we can limit the the, the, the the level here because at every point of the time you have to be changing this water and by so doing you are uh, uh, spilling water on the liter and the place is becoming nasty and things like that but you want to start small you want to start where you feel comfortable okay now directly under this upstairs this banda we have a natural heating section just directly under okay you can see what we did here now with the plastic and the tarpaulin at both sides and then the up uh, rightly down i can't even walk straight here i'm bending uh, i have to bend to to walk inside okay but in here we can heat 1500 to 2000 birds at a certain time okay 
okay which is just natural so we don't have to spend money on uh, firewood we don't have to spend money on heating lamps heating bulbs and things like that these tarpaulins provide us with natural heating which has really saved us a lot of money if we had to be buying firewood and things like that guys which is just absolutely awesome okay so stocking density avoid overcrowding by maintaining appropriate stocking density overcrowding can lead to stress poor welfare and increase uh, uh disease spread and you want to adhere to industrial guidelines regarding the number of beds per square meter okay regarding the number of beds per square meter you want to adhere to that don't overstock them remember if you do that you are going to be causing so much more issues let's talk about number eight litter management okay properly manage their litter material inside the poultry house regularly clean and replace solid litter to maintain a dry and comfortable a dry and comfortable environment for the birds adequate litter management help prevent growth uh, help prevent uh, the growth of harmful bacteria and then reduce the risk of uh, top food and other parasites in the farm okay now i have these guys outside here these look local uh, actually they are uh, an advanced uh, breed for the local birds we call them pantalons we call them the big legs in here I have big cocks of like 3.5 kilograms which is just absolutely looking awesome uh, these guys I'm going to be using them for my Christmas gift my Christmas uh, festivals for some friends some 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 uh, friends around and uh, some top rankings and, and, and stuff like that okay uh, animal welfare is another point which you want to take into consideration and then lastly record keepings for your business okay it's important to note that these best practices are general guidelines only guys you want to keep following our channel to learn more on how you can implement these best strategies into your business